<clears throat> Hello everyone. So today uh, I'm gonna help you guys double your frame rate on Microsoft Live Simulator by enabling uh, frame generation on uh, Nvidia's graphics cards. Uh, so this mod was made by Nukem Nine. Uh, I'll leave the link on the description. This is uh, is GitHub where the file is. Um, so it says, these are the requirements. You need to own an RTX graphics card with the updated drivers, number one. As long as, it, as the graphics card is an RTX. Um, I haven't tried it in any lower car, like a 2070 or anything like that. But you should try it to see if you get results, you know. I mean, I have a 3080 Ti and I went from... 35 frames per second and LEX to 60 frames with no dips. Um, so you need to have a, a NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, you need to uh, enable uh, accelerated GPU sh scheduling. So you go to settings, then you go to display, you go to graphics settings and make sure that hardware acceleration GPU scheduling is on. When you turn it on, it's going to tell you to restart your PC. Just restart it. Come back to the video. Uh, <clears throat> then this is the link to the mod. Number there, number three right there. You click it. Uh, you're going to make sure that you're going to make sure that you download this one over here. The one in the bottom, not the one that says DLSS tweak edition. No, download the one in the bottom. After you download that, um, so after you download the file, it's going to be in a zip file. You extract the file, then you're going to be left with this folder. Um, keep that there. You put it in your downloads or desktop, whatever. Um, <clears throat> you're going to get these files. You're going to make sure to copy this one over here. Uh, FSR3 AMD is better. And NVIDIA NVNGX DLSS. DLL, those two DLL files, you're going to copy them and you're going to put them in your <clears throat> Microsoft Flight Simulator directory, directory uh, folder. Um, if you have Steam, in Steam, for example, it's going to be here, um, games. So I have a folder for Steam. Wherever you have your Steam games installed, it's going to be there. So if you look for uh, Steam library right there. Steam and Steam maps and then common all your games are going to be there if you have a uh, flight simulator uh, installed through Steam. And if you have it on the Microsoft Store, this is the fastest way. You go to Xbox to find your uh, install folder. Wait for the Xbox app to open. Go to manage right here, Microsoft Flight Simulator, files, browse, right there. So when you're in this folder for your Microsoft Flight Simulator, go to Microsoft Flight Simulator, content, and this is your uh, main folder for the Excel file and all that. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna paste those two files. I already have them. You paste them, replace them if, I don't know if you have them or not, but just replace them. Um, after you do that, make sure to come back to the folder here and you enter this uh, registry, disable NVIDIA signature check. You double click it, uh, it's going to ask you something, you're going to click yes, and then after you click yes, it's going to make sure, do you want to continue, blah, 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 click yes. After you've done that, you're all said and done. Um, Oh no, you're not. Make sure to go to your NVIDIA control panel. Let's see. And manage 3D settings, program settings, and look for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Make sure that VSync is on, on this tab. Um, so you're gonna launch the simulator and you're gonna be uh, greeted by a tab you're going to see it right now. I'm going to launch it for you guys. <clears throat> Here it is. Uh, this is basically 
uh, I guess a message that uh, the creator of the mod added. You click OK and then it's going to take you to the simulator. Uh, and I'll see you guys inside the simulator. Okay, so here we are. After you get into the simulator, make sure to go to Options, General, and Graphics. So here you're going to have NVIDIA Frame Generations. Make sure to turn that on. If you don't want to have um, those pixelated uh, displays that ghosting, make sure to switch uh, the anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing instead of DLSSS, put it to TAA, how I have it here. You have to be running DX12 beta, have gen frame, uh, frame generation on, and DX12 beta. That's all you need to have. And like you guys can see, I have everything on ultra, ultra but size, terrain level of detail, which is I'm 90. Um, and after you guys turn that on, <laughs> if if you're on DS, DX11, it's gonna ask you to, you know, you have to restart the simulator, restart it, launch it again, make sure you have frame generation on, and that you have it on TAA, so you don't have the ghosting and ugly uh, displays. Go back. So let's go into the simulator and see how it looks. <clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen. So here we are in LAX inside the Phoenix A3A. Um, there we go. Smooth as water. There's some little hiccups here and there, random hiccups, but nothing that, nothing compared to getting 35 frames. Uh, this is the any built. Uh, scenery and you know that LAX is probably the most demanding airport in Microsoft Flight Simulator because of the terrain in the background, the mountains, then the amount of houses, 3, 3D objects that need to be loaded in. I mean look, look at the back of the airport right here, the cars and everything. Um, like I said, uh, the fact that we're not using DLLS, DLSS, uh, as a Intel aliasing allows me to have my displays looking sharp and nice so none of that ghosting going on you know see I can change the number on the Q&H and everything is instant um, one of the things that I noticed with this mod is that before this mod I was able to run LAX okay-ish 35 frames but if I look anywhere, I will get a crazy hiccup. Now I can do anything with no problems. I get 60 frames cap without moving. Uh, but if you look into the background, you can see the vehicles. They're far away, but they're spawned. Everything is spawned in place, which is one of the things that I don't get. I, I get the frame generation allowing uh, for the GPU to, I don't know, make fake frames. But my GPU is still running the same. It's not running harder or the usage is higher. It's still the same. But somehow, those two files allow for the CPU to render all the objects over here with no problem. Because if I did this without the tweak and I look back, the taxi signs will have to respawn again. Um, which I, I really don't know, but you know, I, I, I'm gonna do a quick takeoff to show you guys how smooth it is. So, gonna.
frickering because of the frame generation. But if you're one of those people that is always in the cockpit, um, you won't have any problems, from my point of view. Let's let's turn into the town, into uh, the city, so we can see how it performs. But right now, no stutters. Smooth as butter. Um, losing some speed here. There we go. If I would have done this without the tweak, I would have stuttered at least two, three times. But. Uh, right now no problems see the amount of detail in uh, you know the houses mountains everything this aircraft um, and these settings anywhere in the world you guarantee 70 plus 70 plus with no issues so there you go i hope you guys enjoyed it let me show you guys with uh, how it looks with clouds no problems still the same performance I hope any this helps anyone out there with a RTX car and you know make simming fun again. I'll see you guys next time and I hope you guys enjoy. All the links are will be in the bottom of the description. Take care.